sum number 3 in sum number 3 they say like in the joint figure p is parallel to q so p is parallel to q and l is parallel to m you have to find out a b and c using the measure of the given angles now see if we find c we will come to know b because they are corresponding angles so either one will have to find the other one is going to be c now what happens over here is c this is 80 so this is going to be 80 so let's label this as say we'll take this as d okay now uh, this is 80 this will be 80 and if this is 80 this will be 100 because they form a linear pair let's solve consider angle d as shown in the figure okay this is the solution consider angle d as shown in the figure so now angle so if this is de we, we call this e angle e is going to be equal angle e is going to be equal to angle d why because they are corresponding they are corresponding as this angle is going to be equal to angle d because they are corresponding angles that means both are going to be equal so angle d is going to be 80 degree fine so now a and d form a linear pair so angle a plus angle d is equal to 180 why they form a linear pair so we know d is d is 80 so angle a plus 80 is equal to 180 so angle a is equal to 180 minus 80 therefore angle a is equal to 100 degree we got angle a now now we have to find c and b so now how do we find out c and b so what do we do is this is 80 so this will be 80 okay e is 80 Okay, so e is eighty. So what we have, let let's call this f now. E is eighty. F will be eighty because they are corresponding angles. Therefore, e is equal to f, or e is congruent to f. Why? Corresponding angles. Now, so e is eighty. Therefore, f will also be eighty. Why eighty eighty? Now f will be equal to c. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle F is equal or congruent to angle C. Why? Vertically opposite angles. Okay. So therefore, F is eighty. Therefore, angle C is also going to be eighty. If C is eighty, B will be eighty. Why? corresponding angles angle c is equal to angle b why corresponding angles therefore angle b is also going to be 80 so 80 80 and 100 is the answer let's do sum number 4 now in sum number 4 they are telling us that line a is parallel to line b and line l is the transversal find x y and z now over here this is 105 so this will be 105 corresponding angles so now x y z see we, we, we let's call this w okay so now consider consider angle w has shown in the figure okay so now if w is 105 therefore x is going to be 105 why corresponding angles are congruent okay so x is 105 then y will also be 105 because they are vertically opposite angle angle x is congruent to angle y why because they are vertically 
opposite angles. Okay, triangle angle X is 105. Therefore, angle Y will also be 105 degree. 105, 105 done. Now, W and Z. W and Z are forming a linear pair. So, they are going to measure 180 degree together. So, measure angle W plus measure angle Z is equal to 180 degree. Why? They form a linear pair. So, W is 105 plus Z is equal to 180 degree. So, angle Z is 180 minus 105 degree. Therefore, Z is going to be so 75 degree. Okay. So, uh, X is 105, Y is 105 and Z is 75. Now, let's do sum number 5. Sum number 5. In the adjoining figure, L, P is parallel to L. Okay, P, L and Q are parallel to each other. Find X. Means this big thing you have to find. Okay, so now uh, with the help of measures given below. So let's name each angle. So let's say we call this angle as A, this one as A. This one, we this X has two angles, no? So we'll call one has B, C and D. Okay, so we have A, B, C and D. Okay, A is 40. So B will be 40. A and B will, A is 40, B will be 40 because they are alternate angles. D is 30. So C will be 30 because alternate angles. So let's write. Consider uh, angle A, B, C and angle D as shown in the figure. Okay. A, B, A, B, C and D as shown in the figure. Now, angle A is equal to 40 degree. Therefore, angle B is also equal to 40 degree. Okay, here is angle B. This one. B is 40. A is 40. B is 40. Why? Alternate angles are congruent. Fine. Now, our D is for 30. So, C will also be 30. Angle D is equal to 30 degree. Therefore, angle C is also equal to 30 degree. Again, the same reason. Alternate angles are congruent. They are asking us to find out X. And X is basically a combination of B and C. So, measure angle X is uh, measure angle B plus measure angle C. That is 40 plus 30 is equal to 70 degree. Therefore, what is the measure of measure of angle X is equal to 70 degree. I hope this is clear to you.